What's good, life gainers and YouTube? All knowing, all loving, damn everything, sexy as hell, host of the Life Gains channel, bringing you guys another life game to help you save money. And now that I am completely done with all my obligatory videos that get a lot of views, that add no long term value to your life, just short term gratification, now that all those are done, it's time to give you guys substantive lasting life gains to help you get through life and your life gain for today is home buying 101 what you need to know when preparing to get a home and some of these steps people know for sure and some of them people don't know so let's just talk about what happens in the very beginning most of the time you guys start getting to a place in your life where you're just like you know what I want to get what has been called the American dream which is your home uh, for some people, that's not a dream. Some people live a life where they're moving year to year. They're in a job where they're bouncing around the country. So that might not necessarily be their dream. But for those that are riding through the highways, riding through neighborhoods right now, you got your sweetie pie in hand, you got your little child in the back screaming, and you're ready to get a home. These are the things you need to consider as you're window shopping. Number one, you got to know what your credit is. You want to know what your credit is so that when you go to the bank, you can have a snapshot of what type of interest rates you're going to be looking at. Right now, the market is so good. You can get a nice 30 year fixed if your credit is pretty good for around 4%, maybe 3.8 in some cases. And, you know, some people can get a 15 year loan sitting around maybe 4%, 4 and a half, maybe 5%. But the first part of the game is you got to know what's on your credit. You got to know what your score is and you've got to try to get that score to around 680 before most banks. Now, most banks are going to touch you. And even when they do touch you, they're going to touch you with a pretty high interest rate. And that's something you want to get a handle around. So check that credit. That's number one. If there are some things you need to fix in the credit, you fix them. Here comes stage number two. Before you even start making phone calls to realtors about a home you like, be pre-approved by a bank so that you know what you can spend and whatever the bank gives you, make sure you stay 20 to 30% lower. So let's just say the bank is going to give you guys $300,000 to buy a home. You've got either you qualify for a program where you don't have to pay money down, which a lot of medical practitioners have that program, or you've got your 20% money saved up, which is something I should have said was step number one. If you don't qualify for a no money down loan, you need to have about 20% saved up. So you need to get that pre-qualification letter so that you can know exactly how to negotiate when you find a home that you like. So that would be step number two, get pre-qualified by the bank. Step number three, find a realtor you love. After you see a home and all that, you're pre-qualified, find a verse realtor for your community that can help you and can be a long-term relationship as you move forward and you start doing better. Maybe you get to a point where you want to sell that home, you want to lease it, or you want to do some other um, real estate buys. That particular real estate agent can be a big help to you. That'd be step number three. So you done found a home, you got your real estate agent together, all right? Now you want to put an offer on the home and you negotiate back and forth and you come to a term that you feel comfortable with. And once you come to that term, you're going to have to offer the seller a due diligence fee that's going to basically take the property off the market that can range from anywhere from a hundred up to five hundred dollars and you're also going to have to put money in escrow which can vary depending upon the price of the home usually that's going to range from anywhere from you know a thousand dollars maybe two thousand dollars so these are all things you've got to consider then during the due diligence process you're going to wind up paying for a home inspection bug inspection and then the bank that you're getting your financing with is going to require you to pay for an appraisal. So within that whole process, you're looking at about another thousand to two thousand dollars. A lot of people don't know this whole process when you're first starting out because, you know, maybe you come from a situation like I was in when my parents didn't own a home. So I never learned that. But those are all financing things you've got to consider and money you've got to have beyond closing. So on top of all the other stuff, you've got to have these monies in between just to get you to the closing. So let's say everything worked out, your inspection went well, um, you got the appraisal done, the bank is satisfied with it, you come to terms, now you're going through closing. 
that's going to be another depending upon the home anywhere from two thousand to three thousand dollars maybe more in some cases but these are all the steps you're going to go through in buying a home and lastly you've got your home now you want to start putting some nice things in it i would say don't finance any furniture only get what you can afford so that you can get settled into your home enjoy your home and at the end of the day you take these steps you're not going to be worried about living paycheck to paycheck monthly because if you took this advice you didn't get your home finance for the complete value of what your the bank approved you for in the loan and now you've got a cushion and you finally got that home that you saw as you was window shopping and you took the correct steps to get that home that's going to do it for this video ladies and gentlemen i hope you all are successful and your goals are getting a home if that's what you want to do don't forget to like my video comment subscribe go out there get yourself a life game always check my video description box i've got great links down there to people i've done business with there's some free stuff some free trials check me out as i try to help everybody save some money and make some money and avoid pitfalls and until the next sexy as hell life games money saving video i'll see you if you enjoy the content on my channel please take your cursor click the subscribe button if you want to receive an alert every time i drop a new video click the little bell and if you want to connect with me on facebook you can click this button if you want to connect with me on my other social media i got a button for you here a button for you here and if you're one of those people that want to make a donation donations can be made through my patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life games you can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by LifeGate.